Beloved, the church bells have rang. Here we are, 9 o'clock, to spend some time dwelling in God's Word together as we continue to share this journey in life and faith. Psalms Tuesday. Um, uh, I'm going to be heading to the mountains tomorrow. Thanks to Nancy Morrison for spending time dwelling in God's Word with you as we continue to read Christ in our homes together as we emerge from pandemic. I got a blue medal uh, at our opening ceremonies, which Addison just held and Benny just held for us. So um, we'll see what that's all about as these uh, weeks of Olympics unfold uh, in our household. Really the first ones in their uh, their memories, which was neat to consider as uh, you know, Bennett is four going on five. Uh, he was born just after the Rio games and uh, uh, Addison was too so I guess these are the first ones she really knows as well so I hope that you're enjoying your uh, your summer uh, days here and invite you to connect on Psalm 111 if you'd like to read together um, we'll dwell in God's word here praise the Lord I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright in the congregation great are the works of the Lord studied by all who delight in them, full of honor and majesty in his work, and his righteousness endures forever. He has gained renown by his wonderful deeds. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He provides food for those who fear him. He is ever mindful of his covenant. He has shown his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever to be performed with faithfulness and uprightness. He sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. And here a devotion together from Christ in our home if you'd like to read along on this Tuesday, July 27th. Inviting our focus to the 10th verse, that last verse that we just read together, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A man finds an old lump, I'm sorry, let me try again. A man finds an old lamp, picks it up and rubs it. To his surprise, a genie pops out. The genie says, I will grant you one wish, but it must be one of these three. You can be the richest, the most popular, or the wisest person in the world. The man thinks and says, money doesn't buy happiness, and popularity enslaves you to others. I'll take wisdom. Poof! The man stands still, rubbing his chin, until the genie asks what he is thinking. He responds, I don't think it's working. Perhaps I should have asked for the money. Wisdom is truly a priceless gem, but it doesn't come out of nowhere, like magic. Scripture tells us the source of wisdom, fear of the Lord. Fear, in this case, isn't the cowering type. Fear of the Lord means deep respect and reverence for God, being in awe of the divine. When you truly think about all that God has done and is doing, creating, sustaining, redeeming, it's hard not to stand in awe. And from that standpoint, with the Spirit's guidance, we can grow in God's awesome gift of wisdom. I invite you to pray with me this morning. Lord God, grant us the wisdom to do and say what you would have us do and say. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, I'm seeing Karen's question, does fear mean have reverence, not be afraid of? I think our devotion answered that for you, Karen. Uh, and, and as this day unfolds before you, be invited to pray for Gretchen and Karen and all of those wise elders among us. Those wise elders among us. Thanks be to God for God's uh, awesome gifts. Uh, I, I, I will... I expect to, to spend these days uh, in Colorado um, in awe of the divine uh, in new and different ways. God bless you and hold you. I'll meet you in prayer, and we'll, uh, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Amen. God bless.